Hey, this is Craig from Guitar Lava, and today I want to show you a trick you can do to make sure that whenever you play live, you really nail the guitar solos for your songs. Today I wanted to share with you what I normally do before gigs. Um, if I'm practicing, uh, if I have a song that I haven't played a lot live, actually this song I've played a lot of times and it's much easier to play with a band but what I could you can do is you can record yourself just you and your guitar trying to stay in time without a drummer without anything and trying to remember all your parts through the whole song so you can play it the whole way through even if you make a mistake you want to keep going that's what I did <laughs> I made a few mistakes but that's alright because most people when you're playing wouldn't even notice really like it's just not perfect for me that's which is one of the reasons i wanted to record it because when you perform it live it's different than practicing in your bedroom or wherever you practice it exposes pieces of the song that you need to practice and so anyway i thought i'd share with you what a song that i've been i've played hundreds of times live i decided to go back and try to get it as note for note as possible. So I just been practicing it. I thought, why not? I'll record myself and show it to the world and I'll see what I need to work on and uh, and that's what I'll do. So without further ado, here's Eric Johnson's Cliffs of Dover.
and that's it as you could hear I made a few mistakes you probably saw them. not super noticeable if you have the whole band playing and in the live moment most people won't uh, recognize a lot of that um, it just wasn't perfect for me I, I like it I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that even though it doesn't have to be perfect it's rock and roll if you make a mistake keep going don't make it obvious that somebody screwed up especially if it's you just keep going people might be like well, I don't know maybe there was a mistake maybe there wasn't um, even Steve I makes mistakes believe it or not so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this let me know what you think of the tone I've experimented with the tone a bit it's kind of a very clean tone not a lot of gain and I was just interested in what you thought of that I'm using a couple of pedals uh, in tandem uh, through a Superchamp X2 head and a orange speaker V30. Anyway, I'm Craig. I'll catch you next time.